got the digger jacked up on wooden blocks and I'm taking the tracks off. I've taken this one off to check the track rollers and the track tension mechanism. So slacken the tracks off so you can remove them. There's a little ram in here filled with grease. It has this plug in the end of it. Inside of there, you take the plug out. That releases the grease out of the ram and retracts the front roller, allows it to move back. So the front roller just now slides out. So that just slides out on the on guide. And that's where the uh, plug and grease nipple fits in the end of the little ram. There's a ram in here. That ram is retracted at the moment. When it's filled with grease it comes out about 50 mil. So I'm going to undo those three rollers at the bottom. Just check those out. They're filled with oil. Each roller has got sealed bearings in it and filled with oil. It looks like this one's weeping a bit. This roller, or the front idle wheel for the tracks, that's got sealed bearings in it and that's filled with grease. There's a plug there, I've had the plug out to check it and it's full of grease. Got the three bottom rollers off. You just slacken the bolt on each side of the roller and they drop out the at the bottom of the slots. That's, a, that's the roller that's leaking oil. I think there's a circlip around here. I'm just checking out and see if new seals can be fitted. Not sure if they can be repaired or not yet. This is where the uh, dry motor is for the tracks inside here. I've had the cover off and cleaned that out. There's a reduction gearbox in here. Um, this is full of, well, half full of oil. I've drained the old oil out and refilled it with new. They seem to be in good condition. There's no oil leaks. On them. I've got the track idle wheel back into place. That's where the end of the ram is through this hole. And that's that hole is where the plug with the grease nipple on it fits. And that screws into the end of the ram when you've got the tracks on and then you pump grease into it to tension the track. I've got the um, rollers cleaned up and I've smeared some waterproof grease around the, around the seals. That's the roller with the seal that's leaking. I haven't done anything with the leaking seal. I'll look into that. Um, I'll have to see if I can buy new seals 
So I'm putting these back together and I'll get the track back on. I've got the three rollers back on. I've used new bolts, used the original washers, the special washers, they're slightly cup shaped like a saucer. So the rim of the washer sits tight against this frame and the dome part is against the bolt head. I jack the uh, rollers up with this little jack that holds them in place while I tighten the bolts. And now I need to get the track on. Getting the track on. Fitted it onto the sprocket end first. Right, track's nearly on. I've got the track lifted up at the bottom. And that's giving me more slack at the end. Got it on on the uh, idle wheel just here. Now it just needs levering on the next notch and on at the top. That should go straight on now. That's the track on. It went straight on with no problems. So it's on at both ends. Now I need to tension the track. I've got the plug with a grease nipple on it, screwed into the end of the ram. You need two spanners to do that. You need a big spanner on the end of the piston just to stop that turning whilst you're tightening the nut up with the other spanner. So I've got that tight, now I need to pump some grease in there. Put the camera down here, you should see the track lifting up when I pump the grease in. I'm going to check what the measurement should be here before I put any more grease in. Right, now I'm taking the other track off. I've got the plug and grease nipple out of the end of the little ram. That's the plug there. I'm gaining as much slack as I can in the track to get that um, front idle wheel back as far as it will go. Make it easy to get the track off. That's the track off. Now this front idle wheel should just pull out. I'll clean all that up, get these bottom rollers off, same as I did on the other side. Got everything cleaned up. That's the front idle wheel, all cleaned up. I've also had the piston out, cleaned the seal, like I did on the other side. So that's all ready to be refitted. Got the three bottom rollers cleaned up. Put some waterproof grease around the seals. This roller's been leaking a bit of oil. So they're ready to go back. That's all the rollers on. I'm um, starting to put the track on.
that's the track on. Now I'm starting to tension it, so I'm pumping the grease in. Before I took the track off, the distance from here to here was 75mm. But according to JCB, it should be 54 to 64mm. So, um, 54 seems a bit tight to me. If it was 54mm, it would be 10mm below that roller. I've tensioned both tracks. I set the distance from the track to the framework at 60mm. And I've got the digger back on the floor. So that's that job finished.